Okay, what's going on this morning? <laughs> Whoa, it is 19, it says 16 right there. It says 19 degrees on my phone. Uh, okay, I was just about to go outside to, I think I'll be rescheduling that motherfucking trip because it is too damn cold for this shit, y'all. I don't like this. It is still early in the morning. It's actually 7.01 a.m. on uh, March 20th, 2024. Uh, I am in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Where are y'all at? Could I come? <laughs> like that ass. <laughs> it's a second of this shit here, y'all. I'm about to slide. Ah! Let's see, what is this? I'm trying to find some um, good music here. Well, the, the background, anyway. I'm sorry, y'all. We'll use this. But good, good, grand rising, good morning. I hope everybody's slept well. I did not, okay? I'm obviously an on-call quality control expert of Earth School. <laughs> the the, the drunk-ass prince. I cannot get over that because that's exactly how I'd be acting and that's what I'd be looking like too. I'd be looking like the drunk-ass teacher or principal that's sick of y'all motherfuckers. And I'm telling you now, it, 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 just, it just gets better. It gets better. But i like to take us to the verse of the day. Now, I, 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 I generally, you know, I don't read this, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, this, hey, this, this one's a good one. Um, it's Ephesians 3, uh, 20, 20 through 21. And it says, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Jesus Christ, of Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Verse of the day by Phil Ware. But then he says, uh, the thoughts on today's verse. We have uh, we have a far greater. See, I told you this nigga don't never do that shit until I turn on the camera. Stop it. We have far greater power than we often realize. That incredible power is at work within us. And that's in Ephesians uh, chapter 1 verses 18 through 19. This promise of power, however, is tied to two opportunities God gives us daily. Now, check this out. Number one, ask God to do great things based on saint-charged imagination. Two, intentionally live to bring God glory each day. So let's, so let's ask, imagine, and give God glory. Let's praise him for what uh, he does, he is doing in our lives. Let's imagine the great things he can do in us, with us, and through us. While expecting him to do far greater things, we are that our prayers could even imagine. I think that that I think that that's perfect. You know, you should you know allow God be uh, you know a lot of you know a lot of times motherfuckers just want they want to be the, they want to take the credit for all the good things going on in their lives. It's like bitch, no, shut up. <laughs> I made that miracle happen for me. No, you didn't. Like, come on now. You know, we, we do come across people like that, you know, and, and to each his own. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say that um, people, um, you know, that people don't make things happen for themselves. I mean, but it's all through the power of the Most High God, at least uh, from my, from where I stand. You know, them motherfuckers do be fucking with the devil, though. Lucifer, Lucifer's, <laughs> Lucifer's app usage is on high. It's on high. You know, these motherfuckers is using that. I bet you there's an app for that. I can almost, I, I don't know why, I just thought, I bet you there's an app for that. <laughs> Lucifer, the app, okay? <laughs> Ooh, I just heard somebody say it's the Bible. Listen. Mm -mm. Who said that? That was deep. I need a joint after that. You feel me? We're going to move past that. Because somebody's then they're still saying like, say it again. I'm not saying it again. But you know, is there, is there a good, is there a good, is there a point? The, how the app, how the Bible is used to, and, and uh, to, and, 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 it, and it forces, and it really does sometimes. I don't care what anybody says. The Bible, when people, people use the Bible, uh, to, to, uh, to enslave people, to mistreat people, to, to invoke, hatred and evoke hatred uh, within and outside of people so whoever said that i um, in the astral realm that, that specifically said that uh that you know they may be on to something dead ass you know yikes i'm 
like a skin. <laughs> Ooh, I've got a skin to pull a card or two. I think I might just want to see. You know? Back to, I didn't sleep well at all. No, no, no. I've, been, I've not been sleeping well. The cats keep, but I've been going to bed early, I think. I don't know. Have I been going to bed early? I will be shaving tomorrow, I think. It makes me look old. And it makes my, it contours, it, it, it puts these, these lines in my face and make it look like my teeth, my cheeks are sunken in. And not that I give a fuck what anybody thinks. I just don't, pers I don't like looking at the shit. You know what I'm saying? I should just grow the fucking beard back out like I had it before. That way I wouldn't give a fuck. Walk around looking like goddamn Taliban is my business. Osama now. Is that gonna flag my video? Somebody's a vampire. Not a good one either. Not a cute one. Who refuses to stay in their lane and they're they're in their shadow. So this is what we're talking about. And <laughs> we're talking about an energy vampire that needs to stay in a motherfucking lane but refuses to do so. Okay? Let's see who we're talking about here. Somebody really in their shadow side, okay? Mm-hmm. Or you know what else I just heard? This is a vampire that that is your shadow, that won't stay in their lane. You, does anybody like you know? A lot of times, a lot of things that we say are from the '90s, okay? Well, when but this is like an '80s term. I used to hear I, like I was like my mother's shadow. Every time you turned around, you saw me right standing right behind her. You know what I'm saying? So this is somebody who's obviously um, stalking you. No, because if they're your shadow, you know that they're there. Somebody could be shadowing you, okay? Like at work, somebody could be shadowing you at work. You could be teaching somebody how to do their job. Let's see what we get. I'm teaching somebody. The page of swords right at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So there we go with that. So let's see what we're talking. So you 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 have a uh, uh, guy. There's an apprentice. Somebody you're teaching somebody how to do a job. It's, it's right here, this page of swords. Somebody's watching you, They're, you're shadowing. Somebody's shadowing you at work. What kind of work do you do? I mean, good morning, babies. Uh, new subscribers, current subscribers, and OGs. Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry it took me so long. Y'all my motherfuckers, you feel me? Um, spirit guides and spirit teams. Thank you, I love you. Law enforcement, you guys are the best, okay? Um, intergalactic beings and galactic federations. How the hell are you doing this morning? Thank you for joining me. Um, what am I forgetting? I'm forgetting some people here, I think, aren't I? Well, what in the hell else? I don't know. Well, oh, and the financial contributions made to the channel are very greatly appreciated. Thank you for the memberships. Like, I'm trying to figure out what else I can do for you guys because I really want to do something very special for the members. Uh, comment below the video. What do you think I should do? Okay? And uh, to the Father of the Most High. We appreciate you there too. What's up, baby? Babies. Okay? How y'all doing this morning? Okay? Are you guys behaving yourself? Are you guys being right to people? Good, being good to yourselves? Uh, are you asking for... Um, um, I don't know. What are you guys asking for this morning? I don't know. We're getting back to the fucking reading. But thank you for joining me this morning, everybody. Okay? Four of Cups. Now this talks about a missed opportunity. Mm -mm. I don't like. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going. Somebody's a Gemini, who's black, or whose favorite color is black. A black Gemini, okay, who's clear audience and clairvoyance. This could be you or that person. I feel like that's what you're teaching this person. This person could have been in the Marines or you could have been in the Marines. And this color silver is very significant, okay? Somebody could have been doing adult entertainment. I don't know why this card is in there. The Marines are very significant, though. 
We got the Four of Cups. It's a missed opportunity here. Who missed that? Okay, so are you are, are you are you finally are you finally saying you're not helping this person, or that spirit's telling you to stop helping this person? I don't know. Clarify the Four of Cups. Two of Wands to the Five of Cups to this to the to the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Hmm. Got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Give me one more. Yeah. Spirit is saying stop helping this person at your job. Yep, Six of Pentacles. Stop. Like, I don't know if you can tell this person, I mean. I'm kind of confused, though. You know what I'm saying? Like. So this person could honestly, okay, I, this, this shadow. So you maybe, maybe this person is shadowing you in a way in which that's not okay. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, when I used to, you know, I've always trained people at my jobs, you know, been there for a little bit. I do, you know, I, I'm, I'm excelling. I had a lot of haters at my job too. Now that I'm looking back over shit, people were always kind of mad. Why does he get to train people? Because I know the fucking job, bitch. And I'm good with people. <laughs> like, that's why. That's just it. And like, you know, there's nothing worse than sitting down. There's nothing worse than sitting down with somebody and you want to learn how to do a job. And they're either A, a fucking drag, A, a fucking bitch, or C, they're fucking stupid. Or they breast stink really bad. Or, or, or there's some hygiene issues going on. There's also nothing worse than sitting next to somebody um, who's training you for a job and you want to fuck them. Okay, and you can't. <laughs> That's always like a big problem when people sit next to me when I'm training them for the job. Did I say that? <laughs> ah, that bomb, that tank, that joke, that joke tanked. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Boom! All right, mm. y'all. I'm trying to quit smoking again. That's probably why I couldn't sleep. Even the vapes are. I don't. I'm starting to really hate the vapes. We're on to something else though, because uh, I'll probably be smoking again. I don't know. Silver, it's color silver, black, Gemini, clear audience. Okay, so somebody's shadowing you at your job, and they need to stop. Somebody is in the, in the scenes. But I'm really kind of confused. Well, Spirit is saying that maybe... Somebody missed an opportunity. So somebody got passed up for an opportunity with the Four of Cups. Yeah, this this person. This person could... Well, the, with, the, with the Page of Swords is somebody younger, a Gemini. Yeah, Gemini. An African-American or black Gemini. Somebody maybe with black hair. Uh, somebody that maybe wants a motherfucking black eye. I don't know because they won't stay in their lane and they're an energy vampire and they're, and they're in the shadows or they're in their shadow side. So we have a dark empath. We talked about this yesterday. A dark energy vampire who refuses to stay in their lane. A Gemini. The color silver is very significant. Somebody could drive a silver vehicle. Somebody could have silver in their hair. Uh, just because they're younger than you or just because they're just because, okay, that they are shadowing you or they're, or they're learning from you doesn't mean that they have to be younger than you. This is somebody could be older. They could have silver in their hair. But nonetheless, this person was passed over for an opportunity. So with the two of wands, they talks about this motherfucker came for is coming for you or traveled towards you. Um, but they're soon to be in regret. Or they came for they came for you um, unapologetically. Now they ass is going broke. Now they in poverty. This person this maybe maybe this person coming for you, okay? Put them in poverty. 
they came for you. So now they asked about to go into poverty. Now they're going into poverty. Or they came for you because they was in poverty. Take the NJ Renegade. We got the Ace of Cups that said that's a big hell yes, but they lost a lot of love. This is an unreciprocated a love. And, uh, you know, some, I'm assuming it must be for a motherfucking job. It don't have to be, though. Damn, huh? It don't have to be. This could be about love. This is about love. So somebody got, somebody, some, some, some crazy ass bitch or nigga got uh, overlooked. Like, <laughs> so get, this is exactly what that is. I thought it was about work. I tried to get, I tried to give it the benefit of, I didn't even try to give it the benefit of, the most obvious thing for me was that this shit happened at work. This is in real, this is like in personal life. So somebody is stalking the fuck out of you, okay? Draining your life. They're, they're learning, they're everything, everything that they, they're like your apprentice, except you don't even know it. Mm -mm. You just feel drained in a motherfucker. You feel drained all the time. You want to sleep. You're not happy. You're just kind of bitchy. You may have uh, like stomach cramps I'm hearing. You may be real kind of bitchy these days. Like you don't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> you done my shave today because it's looking kind of funny. Uh, I don't like it. But uh, yeah, you you don't give a fuck, okay? This person is draining the fuck out of you. They refuse to stay in their lane. It's a Gemini, or you're a Gemini. Hell, both you motherfuckers could be Gemini. This person don't have no boundaries whatsoever. This person has traveled. This person traveled. When I say that they traveled, these motherfuckers like got in a car or on a boat or on a plane to come your way to watch you. Oh my god, this is so creepy. This is creepy as fuck. This is, um, somebody wants to know what I'm drinking. It is ginger peach turmeric tea for inflammatory. It, it, it helps with, infl you know, eases inflammatory issues. I don't know why. Well, my bag's under my eyes or some shit. I'm getting tired of coffee. This person traveled to come towards you because they, because somebody got left them out in the cold in a love situation. And this was not, this was some bad, they did not like this news. This is, I mean, this, they took this shit hard, okay? Because somebody decided to give to somebody else. I cannot make this shit up. A King of Cups, that's why it's King of Cups. I was wondering what the King of Cups was doing in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, motherfuckers went cold. It was like, I don't want to deal with this person no more. They immediately stopped. They did not move forward with this person. They might have actually been married or engaged to this motherfucker with a higher fine in the reverse. They, this is a higher level commitment. They broke it off. They broke it off. Yep, Knight of Cups. I can't make it up. They took back their offer and two of pentacles in the reverse. This They broke off this partnership with this person. This person was engaged. Somebody broke off an engagement or possibly a marriage. Yeah, shit got bad real quick. The son in the reverse. Ain't nobody got time for that. They got tired of being breadcrumbed by somebody and somebody possibly could have given them some type of illness with the four swords in the reverse. What are people going to really fucking realize? You know what I'm saying? Somebody was just there for the money any damn way with the king of pentacles. They could have possibly have tried to kill him or tried to sacrifice this person that, that left their ass alone. Like the nerve, the nerve of this person leaving somebody after they done gave him some type of disease or gave him some type of illness, tried to murder them, sacrifice them too, and was breadcrumbing them for their fucking money. Wow. The nerve of you to save your motherfucking self from this scab. You know what I'm saying? Like that's dumb. The fuck is wrong? Yeah. But now see now this person, this cause it's Queen of Swords shit in the reverse. This is uh this is somebody who's, you know, things being made unclear. Truth and clarity. This is a lying ass motherfucker. This is this page of swords is also the Queen of Swords. It's now under heavy judgment for being a dumb bitch with the fool here. Yeah, and using dark magic. Page of Wands, bad news bears. I can't make it up. Three of Wands in the reverse. Now they ain't got nowhere to go. They don't know what to do. Cause now they are very codependent. They don't have anything. The Queen of Pentacles. I'm trying to tell you, this bitch is cold, was codependent on money. This, per, uh, this person is very. This person is very materialistic. They they were with this person and all they did was spend all their fucking money. Okay, that's all they did. But now, but see now they're under judgment, heavy judgment, possibly by the legal system. Batman could be very significant. Harley Quinn could be very significant. Now that we're thinking about it, this bitch was reckless as fuck, wasn't she? Didn't she go crazy after? Uh, and then she go crazy after the Joker gave her gynorrhea or something. I don't know what happened to her. But Batman says, not today, bitch. Somebody's under heavy, harsh judgment. Or about to be. 
all because somebody chose to give and receive elsewhere. After, but you know, I still, I still, I still have a hard time. See, look, this bitch could, could be walking around with knives and shit. Maybe that's the silver I was picking up on. And two knives, a bitch, crazy bitch, got in her hands. I mean, I don't understand this. Like, I've, I've, I've had people like I've dated people like that 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 did some dumb shit, and I'm like, I don't want to do this no more. It's nothing personal. Well, it is personal, but to, but to, but to minimize the bullshit or the conversation. I'm just going to say that it's nothing personal. It's actually me instead of you. It's not you. It's me. You even try that and the person still goes, I don't understand. What the, what the, what's the problem? The problem is that, now listen. Okay, so this is, how you, this is how you recap the situation with somebody. Okay? I want you to get up in the morning. I want you to look just like this. I want you to look like you just don't have time for this shit. Okay? And when the person comes to your house, or they might still be in your motherfucking house, because they don't get the fact that it's time to get the fuck out. Okay, I want you to sit them down and I want you to do this. Listen, I've tried it the nice way. I've even tried it the mean way. Now today, I'm just going to tell you, this is why. And then you pull out your spreadsheet or, your, or, your, or, or you get your whiteboard. Okay, I should have probably did the illustration. And you say, from, from beginning to end, this is why I don't want to do this with you no more. And I want you to list everything in, in like crayon but write it like write it write, write it like you would write stuff for a little kid because obviously this bitch is a little retarded you feel me so you you do it like that and then by the end of the and then at the very end do you, you go do you see why now we shouldn't do this i'm gonna tell you what the person's gonna say i don't understand what's going on that's when you need that's when you need to get the mace spray that bitch in the face use some fish grease call the police because that bitch is never going to they'll kill you before they let you go Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. You saw you want to go give and receive where it's gonna be worth it. This person is pissed, and all they really want to do is go shopping, or use or, or use the money for drugs. Yeah, you got victory here with this new energy. Tell me more about this new energy. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, you this you, you this is where you walked away to go. You walked away from this old energy. Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, they had some really. You had to walk away. You had to walk away to the and you went towards the empress. You walked away because somebody. I'm telling you, I, I hate to I hate to say it like this. Somebody gave somebody an STD. I don't know if it was an incurable STD. And if it's an incurable STD, I'm gonna tell you right now, okay? Because I saw I saw a posting yesterday about that. Um, I personally, you know, what I'm saying, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dismiss somebody that I know I'm supposed to be with or not give somebody a chance just because they might have HIV. I'm just I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, coming from the world that I that I've lived in all these years, that's that's that would that's a person's biggest fear. It really is for a lot of dudes, a lot of gay dudes. Their biggest fear is to not to, to find out that they're HIV positive because what they think is that nobody is ever going to want to be with them again, and that is so far from the truth. I want anybody out there this morning that's dealing with that to understand that that's so far from the truth. I mean, I've dated I've dated somebody before that I knew was HIV positive. A couple of people, you know what I'm saying? You just take the the proper precautions because everybody deserves to be loved. You know, there are some people that have been with people for years, okay? And, you know, then this, then, then one, then somebody goes out and make, I'm not even going to say a hoe, the hoe goes out and makes a mistake. I'm not going to say that because people do make mistakes. But see, that's why it's important to talk things out with your partner or to get to know who the fuck you finna lay up with because things do happen. But just because something bad happens doesn't mean that, um, or, you know, you catch, you know, you, you contract HIV does not mean that nobody's ever going to love you again. I mean... You, everybody needs to put themselves in the position of what, what it would feel like to find out that if you were HIV positive and you didn't do anything to deserve that. You know, somebody maybe intentionally got you sick or, or didn't tell you or maybe somebody cheated on you or maybe you just made a fucking mistake. You feel me? Did you, would you want everybody that you were attracted to going, oh, I don't want to be. No, that's not what happens. OK, and I want every motherfucking body today to take a step back and realize, you know, what today, today should be put your national. Let's see, the, the 20th of, of March. Maybe we should, maybe we should go to, uh, today should be national, put yourself in another motherfucker's shoes day. Okay. Damn. We got to say it like that. I got, I mean, we, I got to suggest that. It's the bitches that done been to the clinic 18 times in the last year that don't nobody want to fuck with. Okay. That is the bitch that I'm like, hell bitch. I'm, I'll stab. I will, I'll, 
I'll stab your motherfucking ass. If you know you've been to the clinic 18 times in a year and you come to me trying to holler at me, d- bitch, what? And let me find out like the next day. Okay, after I go, after I do an investigate, after I do an investigation and hire a private detective to find out that your ass done been to the clinic 18 times in a year, bitch, I'm finna stab your ass for even saying fucking hi to me. For even insisting upon the fact that we should go grab some coffee. No, thank you, bitch. But I'm talking about just some, somebody that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would hate, I, you know, no. I'm just putting it out there. I would not, I would not tell somebody I don't want to date you because you're positive. That's just fucking stupid. Okay, but this person walked off to go towards that. Yeah, the tin cup. They see this person walked away. Okay, I might have just told the whole story about why this person really got left. This person got left because they're immature and they're a pick me bitch. Okay, and this person refuses to stay in their own lane. This person could have actually gotten into a car accident within the last year as well because they were fucking drunk or high. But this person gave somebody this person that's coming towards you. Okay. This person coming towards you that's going to, you know, whatever. Do what you're going to do. But be nice to the motherfucker. Don't be nasty or mean. This person gave this person a disease. Especially with the, um, the four of swords. Oh, my God. These people kill me. We are with the ace of wands. That's why this person left this person. This person was doing too much. This person, you know what? I'm just going to say it. Here we go. Like, these are the kind of energies where I'm just kind of like, you know what, bitch, if I could get away with killing your ass, I definitely would. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how it makes people feel. Because what kind of energy goes around doing this shit to people? I'll tell you, a lot of fucking people do. This person could be coming your way, though, not, not for a romantic situation, but this person could be coming towards you for some type of healing. You could be a Reiki healer. You are the empress. Uh, but this person is coming towards you after leaving an unrequited love situation. They're walking away. They're coming towards you. Yeah, they are. Uh, because they do see a ten of cups with you. Maybe they just want to have. Maybe they want to be friends with you. They don't have. It doesn't have to be family. But this person does see some type. They would rather give and receive to your pretty ass than to keep dealing with this slutty ass bitch or nigga. You feel me? Let's get another card out here, and I'm gonna call it seven eleven in the clock. Somebody's about to. It's about to be somebody's lucky day today. Okay. The hermit, a Virgo. Okay. What is this? What is the? What is the hermit? Somebody's coming out of hiding. Somebody's been watching. Somebody's been so okay. So ba- basically, what I'm talking, what I'm picking up now is that you didn't have two motherfuckers in the shadows watching this crazy bitch and whoever the fuck they let, whoever the fuck left them has been watching you from behind the scenes. They're they're sending you. They're they're, they're coming. They're coming towards you. Or so you should expect to receive some message about how somebody um, wants to, t- you know, something that's going to help you go off to calmer waters. Somebody, maybe, maybe there might have been an investigation. Maybe somebody was looking into you, Empress. Maybe somebody was doing an investigation onto you with their Virgo out here. Could be. You're about to find out about this, though. The moon. Yeah, they're about to, whatever, whatever, whatever was revealed during this investigation or it's maybe the private, maybe they might hide in private. We talked about this yesterday. A private investigator. A private investigator was watching you. Maybe that's who's been trailing your ass as well. Yeah. They, but whatever they, whatever came out, whatever came out in the investigation, may you're about to somebody wants to move forward with something. Tell me what they want to move forward with. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> These cats be like this bitch ass nigga. That's why we wake him up in the middle of the night. Okay. In the middle of the night. The Two of Swords talks about traveling. Yeah, somebody's traveling. You're going to be, somebody wants you, I don't know, this is, it's, again, here we go back to the work. Somebody wants to do, wants, somebody wants you to do, somebody wants, okay, so let's say for instance that this person did contract something from somebody. It could be a sexually transmitted demon, it doesn't have to be a sexually transmitted disease, but whatever this part, yeah, this person, I'm telling you, this, this person wants, it's going to, this is going to sound really weird. This is what I'm hearing for you, whoever you are. You could be a Gemini. Uh, you don't have to be, but if the story resonates with you, you'll know who I am. But you definitely are the Empress or Pisces, psychic as fuck. Somebody wants to pay you. Somebody, somebody, somebody's gonna want you to travel towards them for doing some to, to, to some do some work to help them heal after this betrayal. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They want. They, yeah, this could. This person could be a Capricorn as well. 
This person wants to wants to, wants either to come travel towards you or wants you to travel towards them to work with them to help them heal. This person could be a Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. This does talk about releasing. This is uh, letting go of some type of devil energy. Okay. This person is uh this person loves your stinker. He's your emperor. This de this this person this Capricorn is your emperor. I can't make this shit up. We got the we got the devil. We got the lovers, and we got the emperor. This could be an LGBTQIA elemental P relationship. Okay. This emperor is your part. This person is your vibrational match. Two of cups. Lovers. The devil. This is a Capricorn. And it's not toxic either. We're definitely talking about something. I, look, I just really picked up. Look, an Aquaman too. Okay. Listen, I saw that movie. That mother, that Jason Momoa is one, one, one fine ass motherfucker. But can somebody please tell me about why he's in the water but still looks so goddamn dirty? Confirmation. Okay. <laughs> Doing all that swimming in that water, but that nigga still look like he need to take a shower. There's something wrong with that motherfucker. He fine as fuck though. He goofy though. I like him though. I think me and him would have a good time hanging out together. We'd probably get wasted or some shit. End up in jail. The Knight of Swords to the to the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person only wants to collaborate with you. They don't, uh, they're not interested in uh, doing anything with anybody else. But I'll tell you what. Somebody's angry as fuck about this collaboration. It's this Page of Swords energy. Yeah, it is. This bitch probably gonna end up going to jail. I'm just telling you, this bitch gonna end up going to jail or, or dead. Yep, ten. I can't make it up. The nine of wands. This bitch finna go to jail. You call the police on this bitch. Get a restraining order on this bitch. This bitch needs to be restrained. Okay, it's that's what I'm saying. This person is angry, and I'm talking about hangry. Like this bitch is hungry for anger. <laughs> this bitch wants an angry sandwich. <laughs> I don't know. Woke up this morning eating eating a lot of hatred. This person's gonna end up in jail though. Yeah, that's what ain't hurt. Jail again. After being restrained or tased, I just heard. 202 on the clock. Somebody could be from somebody could be from DC. This crazy bitch could be from DC. That's what I heard. <laughs> I literally just heard that bitch is from that crazy bitch is from DC. <laughs> Whoa, I don't just live out there. I don't like it out there. I'm good. I like I me. Mean, it was it's nice and shit out there, but I could never want to live out there again. Absolutely not. We're gonna close out this reading. So be on the lookout for some messages about this job offer or this travel opportunity. Whoever you are, whether you're the Gemini or this crazy bitch from DC, is the Gemini. I was going to make another intro today. I just don't feel like it. Okay. So I'm just going to go with the one that I was using earlier with the mushrooms. But I love you guys. Thank you for joining me. I'm your Uncle 790, the Spiritual Savage. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? I just want everybody to know that, you know, I love you. Have a good day. To the moon and back, as always, man. Take it easy. Deuces.